So a lot of the new stuff that we have for this show is was really about um, kind of getting the most out of the dies that you already have and giving some accessories to kind of go with it. So the the designs, I mean, are, they, they've got some cool looks to them, of course, but they also have some very minimum things. Some of the best parts that, uh, best sellers so far, of course, have been the picture wheel. Everyone loves that picture wheel. They love the fact that you can go and put little photos inside. Um, you can use it to create all sorts of little spin cards, so it's fun. They love that die because it does. It, it cuts out that perfect little picture wheel. It cuts out all the little windows in it, so it's really fun. And out of all different papers and overlays, too. And that's a steel rule die. Another thing that I did in Steel Rule is um, Eiffel Tower and Fleur de Lis to go with the whole French industrial that I did with Ideology. So this is nice because it will cut these shapes out. Let me go in and cut this design out. Just take some cardstock, but you know, because it's Steel Rule, actually I'll do grunge because she's got me some pieces of grunge. Let's lay this right on there. Now I'm gonna go in, do my two clear cutting pads now. I'm gonna work with the Vagabond. If you haven't worked with a bag bump before, it's a motorized machine. It's got a lot of torque to it, so it's great for die cutting, but it's also great for embossing folders, diffusers, anything like that. One of the things the Vagabond now comes with um, is a set of gauge keys. So if you already own a Vagabond and you don't have these gauge keys, you can go on the Sizzix blog and they can send you a free set. But here's what these do. This really takes the guessing out of what can go in your Vagabond. So in other words, if I'm gonna use, thanks Tammy, if I'm gonna use a steel rule die to cut, I would make my sandwich, which is basically my two clear pads, take the gauge key. Um, on the back of the gauge key it says steel rule die for A, right? So if you see on this gauge key, these are marked A, B, C, and D. So right in between A, I would take my sandwich, and if my sandwich is going to fit in A, it's going to fit in the machine. So if I'm making a sandwich with a steel rule die and it doesn't fit in there, it shouldn't go in the machine. Yeah, because a lot of people, um, what they're doing, I don't understand why, but what they're doing is, um, you know, they're using their other company's dies, which are fine. That's totally fine, because this machine can use uh, all the different company's dies, but not the other company's cutting pads. That's the thing. So they're trying to go in with, you know, B plates and C plates and things that don't work with this machine. And that's where it's messing it up. So you really want to stick with the Sizzix cutting pads. So I'm going to go in, put that in the machine, make sure the machine's going the direction I want. Push my button, fire it away, and we've got some great shape. So, What's nice about this die, especially with the Fleur de Lis and Eiffel Tower, is just the fact that it's going to cut some fun shapes. So the Eiffel Tower, Fleur de Lis, it's not kind of a perfect shape. It's got some great artistic flair to it. But we've gone one better with this one, and that is we have an embossing folder. We have a texture fade that will match this, if I can find it. I'm going to take a few of these out. I use those. I want to use that one. I want to use that one. I'll use that one. Okay. Um, so. This texture fade basically has a nice Paris theme. It's got some, you know, postmark, it's got some Harlequin, but yes, what you can do, it matches. So I can go in and take my Eiffel Tower, I can also take my Fleur de Lis, and I can place it there. Now, sometimes if I'm gonna do this, I have no problem putting a little bit of tape on there, because it's gonna go right through your tape just like it was a piece of paper, but for this, I'll be very careful, make my little sandwich. Now, because I'm embossing, oops, I'm going to need my platform. So I'm gonna take my platform. I definitely wanna make sure that my shim is clipped on there. And even though I'm doing grunge board, I always cheat, I always leave the shim on. Shh, I always do. I think more pressure is good. Same sandwich with my two clear cutting pads. Put that in there. And let's just engage out of the machine. So basically what we've done is now we've created all of our detail design on those pieces. Isn't that cool? So it's fun that you can use this embossing folder um, just by itself, or of course you can use it with the die cuts, which makes it pretty fun. So if you're gonna ink over it or anything like that, you get that great texture. So 